This pandemic has led to increased stress for most of us, and for some, stress can lead to migraines, no doubt. Our reporter Emma James explains how some are finding relief from the pain. Living through a pandemic can cause a lot of stress and anxiety, which can be a trigger to people prone to migraines. One Kansas City woman tells me she's thankful for the neurologists here at St. Luke's who have helped her live a different life. Typically, I could have anywhere from 8 to 12 migraines a month, sometimes clusters of 5 to 6 within 24 hours. Nicole LaPerry has struggled with migraines since she was a little girl. After years of searching for a treatment, she eventually accepted it as a life sentence. Until she started seeing Dr. Sarah Gibbons at St. Luke's and using a treatment called Amavig. It's been life changing for me. I couldn't be more excited. Nicole says the monthly injections have improved her quality of life drastically. Her migraines are much less frequent and the pain is at an all time low. She says the timing couldn't be better. I can imagine not having the ability um, over the past six months with with Amavig, um, with COVID going on at the same time. Neurologist Sarah Gibbon says it's important to keep in mind migraines thrive with inconsistency. Not sleeping regularly, um, increased stressors, um, missing meals, not eating regular. Gibbon says someone should seek help if their migraines are affecting their work, family or social life. Patients need to come get treated for their migraines because we can help. Nicole says she's proof of that. Now she's encouraging others to keep looking for the right fit, even if it doesn't happen right away. If it's working for me, there's something that's going to work for everybody. So don't give up hope. In Kansas City, Emma James, 41 Action News.